Hi, I'm Travis, an application engineer at Maxim Integrated. In my last video, I showed you how to get started with the MaxRef Does 100 health sensor platform. Click the link in the description to give it a watch. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload firmware to the HSP using the Embed Online Compiler. To get started, you'll need the MaxRef Does 100 HSP, the HDK programming adapter, a micro USB cable, and your PC. Let's get started. Start by going to os.embed.com and creating an account in the upper right hand corner. This account gives you access to the online editor and compiler, along with the libraries and programs written by other developers. Next, plug the micro USB cable into your PC and the HDK port of the programming adapter. Plug the adapter into the HSP and hold the power button until the LED starts to blink. Open File Explorer and the adapter will show up as a mass storage device named DAPLink. Double click the embed.htm. This will open your browser and automatically add the HSP as a target to your embed compiler. Scroll down and you'll see lots of useful information, such as all the pin names of the peripherals. Keep scrolling down to the bottom of the page and you'll see some example programs. Let's get started by importing the HSP PMIC demo into the online compiler by clicking Import Program. This opens the online compiler where you can compile and upload the program. Click Import and wait while Embed sets everything up. Open the main.cpp file, which includes the program code. This code uses I2C to program the MAX14720 Power Management IC, or PMIC for short. After initializing the PMIC, it uses the boost converter to light the LED at different intensities in an endless loop. Click Compile and wait for the program binary file to download. Drag the binary file onto the DAPLink drive to program the HSP. The red LED on the DAPLink will start to flash indicating that programming is in progress. Once it's done, click the button which will reset the HSP. Now you can see the LED on the HSP lighting at different intensities just like the code told it to. And easy as that, we've uploaded code to our HSP. Now let's upload some of our own code. In this example, I'll show you a simple program that reads the MAX30205 temperature sensors and displays their value on a serial terminal. I'll modify the PMIC demo code since it's easier than starting from scratch. First, we'll need to grab the MAX30205 library from Maxim's embed repository. Search MAX30205 embed in your browser and click this first result here. Click Import into Compiler, set the path to your project, and click Import. Make sure to include the library we just imported, and hold on a few seconds while I type up a quick example. <sighs> okay, good thing I'm a fast typer or this would have been a long video. So first I instantiate the I2C masters and the MAX30205 sensors by using a constructor defined in the library. I left the PMIC instantiation in place and added a serial port for sending data to a terminal. In main, I kept the PMIC initialization code because it supplies power to the sensors. I then used the library functions to read the raw temperature values and then convert them into Celsius. Lastly, I print them to a terminal and wait one second before repeating. Let's upload this code and take a look at the results. Now we'll open a terminal like TerraTerm, select the embed COM port, and here we can see the temperature updating every one second. If I touch the bottom of the board, you can see the bottom warming up followed by the top. If you ever want to reload the board with stock firmware, the binary file is available on the embed HSP page just above the example programs which you can simply drag and drop onto the DAP link. The source code is also available here if you want to modify it for your own application. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to look at the description for relevant links and information. See you next time.